Hello fellow mini makers, welcome to my messy desk. Today we are going to make cinnamon rolls. These are fun to make and you can actually choose several different toppings um, to put on your cinnamon rolls. You can go with icing, you can go with caramel, maybe some caramel and nuts, um, just a big melty glob of butter. Uh, today we're going to be doing one with a white icing with chopped nuts on top. So let's get started. I have a small ball of, this is called just tan clay. I mean, it actually came in the, I didn't have to mix anything, it was just tan. Um, if you don't happen to have this, what I would do is use uh, maybe some white with a little bit of brown and maybe a pinch of yellow, just a pinch, and, and mix and mix until you just achieve the desired color. This is close enough, I mean, a baked good, we're gonna be adding chalk to it to give it some color and depth anyway. Now, this is enough for probably three cinnamon rolls here, but we're just going to make two, I think. So we want a ball. If you stop and think about how big your cinnamon roll is going to be when it's over, that's how big of a ball you want to create. So that's a little bit bigger than a pea. They don't have to be exact. We want them close enough in size to be the same or at least from the same batch, same scale. So I'm gonna roll these into little balls, just like so. And then we're going to roll them into a log, a rope, I should say. And we're gonna make it long enough to give us some good turns in that cinnamon roll. So that's, that's a great size right there, I think. These might be just a little big, but that's okay. We'll be able to see our detail. We'll do the second. Now, once again, I'm not working the clay too much because sometimes if you over condition um, your clay, it's gonna get too soft and sticky to, to work properly and it is just gonna honestly make you mad, so. Now, we're gonna go from this point and we're going to just slightly flatten each one with our fingertip. Once again, doesn't have to be exact, but that's, that's about as thick as the wall of our cinnamon roll is gonna be. And you can see it really didn't change the length of it, just the width. And that one's good. Now I'm gonna pick up this tile and show you how much I went. If you can see that. Not too much, it's not super thin, but just enough to, and that's how tall our cinnamon roll is gonna be as well. Now, I use this brown chalk, and I think today, because it's cinnamon, cinnamon sometimes also has sort of a reddish brownish color. So I'm going to mix uh, these two colors together. I think I'll use more of the brown. Here, we'll do it over here. And I just use my exacto to scrape it. That's plenty for that. And then we're just going to add in just a bit of this reddish brown, like so. Okay, and now we're gonna take our paintbrush and just kind of dab in there. Now this is a dry paintbrush that's dedicated to brown um, chalk. I have one dedicated to green chalk, for red chalk, for blue chalk. Um, I, I keep a dedicated brush for each color. It's, it's so much easier to work with, that way you don't have to clean in between. And you don't wanna get these wet because they'll just get nasty on you. So we are going to liberally just add this brown powder on this side, and we're gonna go over the edge a little bit on the top. And go over the top just a little. Mostly this is in between, because that's where our cinnamon lies in a cinnamon roll. They add it to one side on the inside before they roll it up. So, I like that little extra reddish brown. I think that added just enough to give us a great coloring 
on this. Okay, now we're gonna do the second one. These actually move along really quickly, so if you decide to make them, um, make a dozen, you know, at, at a time. You'll, you'll find that you'll use them in different prod, uh, projects. You can use them as a pair of earrings. You can put two on a plate with a tiny little um, cup of tea to the side. You'll be able to utilize them in, in more than one project. And they're easy enough to make. You might as well do them all at one time. Okay, so we have all of our cinnamon in place. And like I said, make sure that you go a little over the top as well, which I was doing as I was doing it, but I want you to see exactly where I was going. Is just across the top like that. Now we're going to loosen these up a little because we did push them onto this tile. I don't want to distort them too much picking them up. They stretch just a little as you're picking it up, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna start at one end. I'm gonna curl it in. Now, if you notice on cinnamon rolls, sometimes the very center kind of puffs up a little. So as you see while I'm rolling here, I'm kind of leaving, I'm pushing up on this just a little bit so there's you know, some left on the bottom. I'm not going perfectly straight, but I will straighten out as I go. See, that's that's pretty good. And then we'll make it. Now, when we get this rolled, we're gonna add a little more cinnamon just around the outside so it's not so bland. And look at that, <laughs> how adorable. Now, I usually take my fingers at this point and just ever so slightly pull it just kind of apart a little bit around the edges. Gives it a little more dimension. We don't want it just a perfect circle there. I really like how that turned out. That's very cute. And we're gonna do the same with this one. Give it a good roll and you can see the center sort of poking out a little bit there. And we'll close that up. Another great piece, I love it. And we're just gonna pull the edges a little. All right, I like that. Now we're going to take some of our brown, not overly heavy, and we're just gonna sort of dab a little bit around the outside. Just so it doesn't have too much of a doughy appearance. This is, after all, cinnamon goodness, and it's been baked. So, or it's supposed to look like it's been baked. So we're gonna brown the outside just a little. And I'm gonna stay away from the top anymore because by putting that dark in on the one side and then just a little on top, you see that darkness of the cinnamon that's buried within the cinnamon roll. And I think that really gives it a, a realistic look and keeps it from being all one color. So you can see we're just kind of dabbing, lightly brushing around the outside. It gives it a little bit of texture and a little bit of color. All right. Try not to handle them too much because we don't want to distort that perfect little swirl we have going on. Okay, now, if depending on what you're topping it with, sometimes you can stop and bake these at this point. Now, if you're wanting to make earrings, make sure you insert the wire with a loop on it at this point. Um, but since we're going to be using icing and nuts, I'm going to wait to bake it. So we're gonna set these right here on our little pan. Now, I've made some nuts in advance, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. So, I take, a, I take one of my metal pans, and I took some very light, light brownish. It's got a, it's got a slight hint of, it's an off-white. It's got a slight hint of brown. And you don't need a lot, but I've already made some in advance before, so I have a little dish full of these already. But I'm gonna show you how I did this. Take a very small ball, and we're gonna roll it really tiny. Like 
morning. So small, small is really good for this. Now, once again, we're going to take this and we're going to push on it just a hair here. Oh, see, it's not wanting to stick to my pan very well. That's okay. It doesn't have to be straight. We're going to give it just a little bit of flatness, not a lot. And then we are also going to brush the top of this, just the top, lightly with some brown. That's going to be like the outer part of the nut, and the lighter other side will be the fleshy part of the chopped nut. So it, it, it really blends well. And that's that. We're going to put this in the oven for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, let it get hard, and then we're going to pull it out and chop it up. Now, as I said, I already made some. So this one has already been baked. It's still stuck to the tin. I haven't unstuck it yet. But now you can use either your X-Acto or your blade here. But we're going to take this and we are going to start making just super fine little cuts in this. Really small. No accuracy really here. They're going to be big. They're going to be fat, chunky, whatever. But we want to go as small as we can. And when we get these, enough of them chopped up, see they're sticking to the blade a little bit and that's okay. Keep chopping, and then we come back and we chop some more. And then we turn it and we chop them this way. The goal is to get just a bunch of really tiny little chopped pieces. Now this can take a little bit of time to do. It's not horrible, but it is a little time consuming. But when you get done, you're gonna have these adorable little nut topping that you can use, not just for cinnamon rolls. Uh, you, you can put them on top of sundaes, ice cream cones, donuts, whatever you like. So these come in handy. Like I said, I usually make a batch at a time, so I always have some sitting on hand for whatever project I'm using. Okay, so that's, we're gonna have our chopped nuts. We're gonna set those aside. And for our icing on our cinnamon rolls, I've chosen Liquid Sculpey. And this is in white. Uh, if you get the clear, you, you certainly can, the translucent. It's not clear, but it's considered translucent. And add um, some white chalk to it, but you have to add a lot. But it's it just doesn't come out, I, I don't think, looking as good as the white Sculpey. This is just more of a pure form. And you could also use paint, but when you're done, it looks like paint. It does not look like icing. So this is really our best bet. And I'm. this is an awfully big tip, so I'm not gonna squeeze it on that way. I like a little more control. So I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna take my needle tool. Now remember these haven't been baked yet, so we don't wanna give a hard push on it, but we, we're waiting to bake them because this needs to be baked as well. So we're gonna dip in here. I don't know why that's a lot more than I needed. some more on the tip and we're just gonna sort of glaze over I don't want to cover the whole thing because I don't want to lose the detail of the twirling cinnamon roll but I want it to drip down the sides a little like a good gooey cinnamon roll is supposed to look at that that's already looking so adorable glob up a little bit here and there because icing does that and we're going to call that one complete and we're going to do the same over here now if you wanted to do like a caramel look I've done that in several different ways you can take um, clear gloss add some brown chalk to it mix it well and drizzle that over the top but you'll want to wait till you're done uh, 
you, you want to bake your cinnamon roll first because you really don't putting that clear gloss in the oven you can but sometimes it wants to get crackly so but then you can put nuts right on top and it gives you a good caramel like your poured caramel over the top all right we're almost done here All right, we're gonna call those iced. I really like how that turned out. So we'll close that up and wipe off our tool. And the last thing we have to do is our nuts. Now, like I said, I'd already made some in advance um, and these are the finished ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. And what I do is I use my fingertip I do, just, I moisten it just a little bit with the tip of my tongue, just a little so that these stick to it. Get a little bundle, like so, hold on to them, and we are just gonna lightly sprinkle right over the top. Not too heavy. And it sticks right in to that icing really well. That's why we wanted it still wet at this point. And there we have cinnamon rolls with icing and nuts on them. And they are just too cute. I want you to get a good close-up of those. Now, you don't have to add the nuts. You can just leave it with icing. Like I said, you can leave it plain. You can try caramel. You can try a big pat of butter. Um, pretty much anything you do to them is, you know, at this point, decorate them in different ways. So there's our cinnamon rolls. I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you, you can follow me on YouTube at Gina Holland. You can follow me on Facebook at Itty Bitty Minis. And you can visit my website, Itty Bitty Minis by Gina.com to see all the products that I've made and have for sale. Thanks for joining me. And remember, a creator always has a messy desk.